Hello everybody, my name is Dr. Elizabeth Nixon. I'm Assistant Professor in Developmental Psychology here at Trinity College Dublin and I'm the Director of the Undergraduate Programme in Psychology and I'm going to spend um, this short presentation telling you about uh, what psychology is as a subject, what studying psychology in Trinity is like and what you can do with a degree in psychology. So first off, to think about what psychology is and what it is not. An official definition of the uh, discipline of psychology is that it is the scientific study of the behaviour of individuals and their mental processes. So the key term here is scientific and it's about understanding how we conduct, uh, how we can conduct uh, research that's uh, informed by theory to help us better understand uh, individuals and their mental processes. So psychology is not mind reading, uh, it doesn't uh, it, um, enable you to have any sort of psychic skills or understand exactly what people might be thinking or what might be going on in people's minds. Um, psychology is distinct from psychiatry in that psychiatry is a very specific branch of medicine that deals with people who have uh, mental disorders or mental health difficulties. So even though some branches of psychology are concerned with this, um, this is only one part of what psychology is about. And psychology is not the answer to who you are. So it's not the academic discipline of psychology is not something that you should necessarily undertake because you want to explore any personal issues. So some examples of the kind of questions that uh, our students study or that one might study during a degree in psychology. Things like how do babies develop language? Are our brains wired up like computers? Um, how do our brain cells communicate with each other to enable us to think about things or experience different emotions? What about men and women and the differences between men and women? Why do men and women think about things like sex or differently, for example? Can you trust your powers of attention and memory? Why are some of us susceptible to mental illness um, and um, disorder where other people aren't? What makes us happy? What are the things um, that enable us to leave, lead happy and fulfilling lives? And many, many more questions. We might be familiar from uh, media and programmes like Mindhunter or Criminal Minds with some of the work of psychologists and typically these shows focus on a very specific area of psychology, that of forensic psychology and trying to understand the mind of the criminal. And of course this is one uh, insight into uh, some of the different fields that psychologists can work in and I'll talk about this a little bit more at the end of the presentation. Psychology is a scientific hub. And by that, uh, we're talking about how uh, the discipline of psychology interacts or intersects with lots of other um, um, academic disciplines. So we see links between psychology and biology, because obviously to understand behavior and processes, uh, we need to take account of the biological processes involved in, in life. So uh, a, a, um, a, a proportion of psychology is devoted to understanding uh, brain and how the brain works and so on. Um, it overlaps with sociology and anthropology, which are the study of society and cultures respectively. Um, so obviously who we are as individuals is very much shaped and influenced by the people we have relationships with and uh, broader society and culture at large. And we also see that psychology intersects with disciplines like medicine. So I've already mentioned uh, the commonality between psychiatry, for example, and psychology. Um, and and um, we are concerned with uh, understanding and treating mental health difficulties within psychology. And then a large part of psychology is about undertaking research and gathering data on individuals and their behavioural and mental processes and use analysing that data to help us understand um, people and their behaviour better. So in that way it overlaps with um, things like uh, computer science, which is the scientific study of information processing and the manipulations of data. So psychology uh, lying at the intersection of lots of these um, different um, different academic disciplines opens up opportunities for us to go on and study within some of these disciplines as well. Psychology as an undergraduate program then is very, very popular. So data um, from 2017, 18 shows that there are just over one and a half thousand undergraduate psychology students in Ireland and all of the third level institutions across Ireland offer popular um, uh, programs in psychology. 
in the UK, uh, data from 2014, uh, tell us that psychology was the second most popular um, course after um, nursing. Now within psychology, uh, within TCD, psychology within TCD is studied under the course code TOR006. We have one route to studying psychology, and this is a single honours uh, programme in psychology. It's a level eight honours bachelor um, degree. The points vary obviously from year to year. Uh, the CAO points from 2020 for the first round were at 567, and we had 40 places. A basic degree, undergraduate degree in psychology is a requirement for further training in psychology. So if you want to go on and be a psychologist, work as a psychologist in the healthcare or education sectors, for example, then you must have a basic degree in psychology and go on and do graduate training. Our programme is fully accredited by the Psychological Society of Ireland, and this accreditation is also recognised by the British Psychological Society. So there is mutual recognition of um, each other's awards, and this means that our students have no difficulty in travelling to the UK in order to take uh, graduate um, level training in psychology. Just to tell you a little bit about the program structure within Trinity, uh, our, our program is a four year program. In first year, which we call junior fresh year, our students are required to take 60 credits and all of these are in psychology. We run a very significant uh, module called Foundations in Psychology. This provides you with the basis of the discipline and information about the development and evolution of the discipline from its early days. We also run academic skills tutorials. These are small group tutorials where students with two of their classmates and one of our um, teaching assistants within the school will meet in this very small group to talk about uh, psychology, uh, to uh, develop critical thinking skills, analysis skills, and to uh, help students develop skills in constructing arguments and writing essays. Students uh, will also um, take modules in research methodology methodology and statistics. These will be in the form of lectures, but also seminars where uh, the bigger class group is divided into smaller group and practicals in our lab within the school. In senior fresh year, um, then our students take 40 credits in psychology and they have an opportunity to add uh, breadth to their programme by taking up 20 credits in modules that are outside of psychology. And then in the junior fresh and senior fresh year, our students are introduced to a suite of modules whereby um, they um, are introduced to the five core areas of psychology. And I'll tell you a little bit about what, what each of those areas is now. So the first area, as I've already mentioned, is that of biological and neuropsychology. So basically, this is the study of how the brain and how the brain works. So the physical substrate of our brain is the, mace, the basis of our mental life and changes to this substrate can have profound consequences for our sense of self. So we know this from studies, for example, where, children are, where uh, participants or people have acquired a brain injury and we can look at where the, uh, the injury has occurred within the brain and how this affects the behaviour and mental functioning of the individual. We can also track the development of the brain over our life course, um, how uh, brain development contributes, for example, to how children are able to learn and think about things and how that changes over the course of development. And here in Trinity, we are, uh, is, is home to the Trin Trinity is home to the Institute of Neuroscience, where um, some of the staff within psychology work. So uh, our students have an opportunity to become involved in some of this important neuropsychological research. The second core area of psychology then is developmental psychology, and this is basically the study of change and development over the life course. So starting from uh, the, the prenatal period uh, before birth, right through to um, um, infancy, early childhood, middle childhood, adolescence, and then into adulthood. We ask questions about how we change over our life course and what contributes to those changes. How important are early experiences to who we are as individuals and what roles do nature and nurture play in development? And here we have a picture of uh, what would originally have been called Siamese twins or conjoined twins. So these are twins who were joined at birth. Uh, they were identical twins, so that means that they shared 100% of their genes. And because they were conjoined, they were always together. And so they essentially shared uh, an identical environment when they were growing up. 
What was interesting about this case study is that when these twins reached uh, an older age, they in fact had very different personalities. So given that they were genetically identical when they were born and that they largely shared the same life experiences because they were conjoined, the question is, what is it about their, uh, their experiences that were unique and that conspired to make them so different? So these are some of the questions that we study within developmental psychology. Other things we might look at include what happens in the brain during the teenage years. Um, so all of these changes that we know occur during the period of adolescence, Sometimes we attribute this to uh, hormonal changes and the changes that come about uh, with puberty, but it may also be related to the, de uh, the development of different areas of the brain um, over this period. And we know, of course, that there's a lot of change uh, in the adolescent's environment. For example, they go into secondary school, they begin mixing with groups of uh, different groups of peers and so on. So we know that all of these contexts have an influence on their development. The third area then is cognitive psychology. So here we're really interested in looking at mental processes. So things like how do we perceive the world? How do we make sense of the world? Paying attention. What causes our attention to drift, for example? How do we remember things? How come we can automatically um, cast our mind back and think, uh, know what we had for breakfast this morning? Uh, whereas um, it, it's not possible to remember somebody's phone number unless you rehearse that piece of information. What is the difference between those two uh, processes? How do we solve problems and how do we carry out our goals? So this is what we study in cognitive psychology. It offers explanations for why perceptions and thoughts are organized in the way they are. So you may look at the image um, on the right of the screen here and you may see uh, a young lady with her head turned and a feather coming out of her, uh, the, the front of her hair, or you may see an old woman who is wearing a headscarf and uh, with, with a kind of hooked uh, uh, um, nose and a, a jutting out chin. So people can look at this one image and perceive it in different ways and cognitive psychology helps us to understand why those differences might occur. The fourth area of psychology then we refer to as individual differences and personality. So we all, we all have a common understanding of what we mean by personality. And this is what we study within this particular area of psychology. So we look at why individuals differ along different psychological dimensions. So things like their learning styles, aptitude, motivation, personality, emotional intelligence. So how can we, re we reliably measure these constructs and also what does it mean in terms of our um, in terms of our life and in terms of our development if we're for example high in neuroticism or openness or low along these different dimensions. And then the final area of psychology that we con uh, consider is that of social psychology. So this is looking at how people relate to each other and behavior in groups. So this is obviously very relevant to all of us in our everyday lives because we all interact as part of a group at various, uh, within various contexts. So within the study of social psychology, we look at how our attitudes develop, why we are attracted uh, to certain individuals, why do people behave aggressively, why do people behave particular ways within groups, why, why do some people uh, become leaders within groups where other people are less likely to be leaders. So these are the kind of questions that we study within social psychology. So when you go into your, so those five areas are introduced as part of the first and second year elements of the program. And when you come into the third and fourth year of the program, which is the junior and sophister years respectively, what you see is that you begin to uh, have the option to take optional modules, uh, which it helps you to refine your thinking, deepen your understanding and apply the skills that you have um, learned. And basically over the course of the third and fourth year, you get to pick uh, 11 or 12 different uh, specific types of modules. And this is where you can really begin to focus in on those particular areas of psychology that you find most interesting. Students also in the third and fourth years of the programme get to apply those important research um, and methodology skills that they have, will have learned in the first two years. So for example, in third year, our students uh, take part in a group project uh, where they work as part of a group to conduct um, a, a piece of research under the supervision of one of our staff members. And then in final year, our students get to do what we call a capstone project. And this is their own independent research, again, that they uh, carry out under the supervision of one of our members of academic staff. 
So what can you do with a degree in psychology? Psychology graduates develop lots and lots of transferable skills that are really highly valued by um, employers. So even if you're not sure that you want to go on and work as a psychologist, it can be a really good basic, um, ba basic degree to undertake. So our students are very well trained uh, researchers. They have, they're highly skilled in terms of understanding research, research design methodology and they, will have, they have good programming and statistical analysis skills by the end of their, um, of, of their degree. They also acquire um, skills like um, critical thinking, the, uh, the ability to um, construct arguments and the ability to write and communicate um, their ideas. But of course, a lot of our students come into psychology because they're interested in developing um, careers uh, within psychology. And there are lots of different uh, psychology specific pathways that our graduates can take. So they may be interested in becoming clinical or counseling psychologists where they work with people who have mental health difficulties or are experiencing um, life stress and uh, difficulties in, in coping with, with everyday life. Uh, students may go on to become educational psychologists where they work in education settings, for example, with children with um, intellectual or learning um, disabilities, so those with special needs. Forensic psychology, as I mentioned, you'll, you'll be familiar with the work of some of these individuals through various uh, popular TV programs. But there are lots of other areas that psychologists can find themselves working in. For example, within hospitals, as health or neuropsychologists, within organisations or human resources departments, as occupational psychologists. Sports psychology is becoming increasingly popular as well. And then, of course, a lot of our graduates will go on and become teachers or will engage in deeper uh, um, research within the discipline of psychology. There are lots of professional training options in Ireland and each of the universities uh, offer, um, offer different ones. Specifically within um, Trinity College, you can um, undertake, um, you know, do PhD level research. We also offer doctoral level programs in counselling psychology, clinical psychology, applied behaviour analysis um, and so on. Other options uh, or uh, pathways that we see our graduates taking, including going into the area of counselling, psychotherapy, uh, becoming a life coach, uh, working um, um, within different um, types of services with people with mental health difficulties or disabilities, education programmes and interventions. And then lots of our students will also go into the business world. Um, you know, they will enrol in graduate uh, programmes within um, some of the big big companies, because our students have very good data analysis um, skills, they tend to be highly sought after by these companies. They also um, um, can quite easily go into market and um, social research areas. So if anybody is looking for more information uh, specifically about the program within psychology, please go onto our website at psychology.tcd.ie. Thank you.